Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. I wanna to talk to you about texturing really quick. So I pulled in a material from our procedural material pack, and these are all fully tileable because uh, they're made out of layers, not image-based. So these are really handy. If you want some of those, check them out. Um, we'll go ahead and throw this on here and hit render. So right now you can see that we have a little bit of bump in between these tiles, but let's say that we want to really extrude these this bump out. Well, let's go ahead and check out our bump channel. Right now it says that we have 28%, so we can kick that up all the way to 100%. And let's actually turn off these little pock marks. Uh, we'll turn these off right here and go back to our bump, so that's a little bit cleaner and faster to render. So let's say that we want to really push this extrusion. Well, there's a few things we can do. We could take our bump and actually go past 100%, just crank it way up, but it doesn't really push them out very far. At a certain point, it just kind of flattens out. So um, we could go into our normals and add a normal map, or we could go into displacement and add a displacement map, which is going to yield really nice results, but that also takes a long time to render. Well, in R18, we now have another way that we can extrude things, and that is also in our bump channel, and it's a new slider called Parallax Offset. And this is basically going to look at the black and white pixels, and it's going to kind of push out the pixels based on that map. So if you have a black and white image with really clearly defined edges, this is going to work really well. Um, if you have something that's a bit noisier or with more texture, it might not yield a very good result. But for something like this, it's going to work pretty well. So let's take that parallax offset and crank it up to 100, and we'll hit render and see what it does. So you can see that just by putting that slider up, we're getting a lot of depth in all these tiles, and it's rendering uh, just as fast as it was without it. So this is a great way to do something like uh, a displacement without having to take that render hit. Now, like I said, it doesn't work on everything, but it's worth a shot because a lot of the times it does a really nice job. One thing to know about quickly is that if you have the strength of your bump set to zero, uh, this is not going to work very well. You can see that it looks a little bit hazy and undefined, um, just has some weird stuff going on. That's because uh, the bump actually needs to be set up as well as that parallax offset. So you can set this to whatever you want and then set your parallax offset and just kind of experiment with that. Just make sure you have some strength in that, uh, that first slider. Uh, besides that, we have parallax samples, and that's just the quality of the render. If it's looking a little jaggy, you can maybe kick that up a little bit. So that's it. It's a really handy little feature in R18. Just want to make sure that you guys are aware of it, and I hope that it's useful. Thanks, as always, for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.